Hey, how's it going? Um, Devin Kenny. I am glad to be able to participate in this event. Uh, mediated wise tonight. Um, yeah, this is uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do something new. Um, not sure how to about it, but um, thanks to Manning. Um, yeah, this is a new thing. Um, <coughs> it's currently untitled. Um, let's call it Harry Potter. Okay. Today I tried to get a state ID from the New York City DMV. I heard about a secret DMV from a poet friend. It indeed was a well-kept secret, air-conditioned, not crowded, with cushy vegan leather seats. I was directed to the first agent by a beautiful woman standing beside a handsome security guard. She told me to request a supervisor pass after I told my situation. The first agent told me what I would need. I told him what I didn't have and that it was destroyed in a move, which was true. I got a new waiting number. I overheard him tell a person that patience is the key to success. He was like an uncle. So far, everyone was Afro-Latino and nice. I talked to the supervisor, who was Asian-American, but it felt like we were arguing. I told her I had an ID about four years ago, which was true. I wasn't in the system. I was twice surprised. I mentioned to the first agent that I was on food stamps. I can't believe I wasn't in the system. He said that wouldn't matter. I brought a folder that had check stubs and jury duty letters and some transparencies and a copy of my previous state ID, which was lost and my wallet long disappeared. This whole thing is a joke, really. This is an annoyance, but not an impossibility. I went to the Social Security office to get a new card. I bought a Klondike bar beforehand because I was pissed. Oh yeah, and before that, before I started all of this, I saw a homeless black man angrily kick over a homeless black woman's kick uh, collection bucket. It did an endo as it hurtled in the sun toward a red tour bus, 34th Street. He said she needs to have respect because she never did time, and he's offering a service. She called for the white policeman and said that he sexually harassed her. He miraculously took her word for it and gently told the guy to move along. Her two friends, one pale Latino and one white, helped her collect her dollar and coins. I saw the whole thing. I gave the two women, one black and svelte, one white with curry stain, color staining her fingertips, a dollar, and I beat my breasts. Feeling relieved I didn't have to perform masculinity on her aggressor earlier. The guy who helped her, he had a bandana on. I gave nothing. Maybe he would think I was trying to emasculate him. I don't know if the white lady stole a few coins or not. I didn't hear the sound of it plunking back in her neighbor's bucket or her hand going in that direction. Maybe they have an agreement. There was also a lot going on. Maybe it was the wrong time. I went to the SS office and it was really fast. The black female security guard with bronze curly yaki directed me to the correct elevator through the turnstiles. We exchanged smiles on the way out. She was like a security guard from my high school. Another black female security guard had blonde dreads to the middle of her back and was closer to my age and looked like an Instagram model, so I sidled out quickly. The SS office guy was white and was very heavy and bald and bespectacled and had a Marvel Comics t-shirt with many superheroes on it. He kind of looked like the comic book guy if the comic book guy had a shaved head and voted like Democrat. I wanted to talk to him about his t-shirt and Marvel, but decided not to. He asked for my application. I took it out and realized I had grabbed one in Spanish. He said I could go back, 
but thinking I would lose my place in line, I soldiered on, saying I could do this one. He said, okay, no questions. I realized I could only do about 80% of it in full confidence, so I asked again, and he said yes. He processed me and got a letter saying I'd receive it in two weeks' time. It was a print-off. I was disappointed to not get a cardstock temporary card that I could take to the DMV. He said they haven't done those in two years. I wanted to joke a few weeks back like I was white, like not having a social security card or birth certificate or ID is at all like the precarity of hundreds of thousands or even millions of Americans I don't see and see. But no, I can get those things. I just can't do shit with them. Or I can, but not as much as some others. Can't believe I wasn't in the system. After all I've done for you. Trifling.